Hello, I'm called Jingo Nelly, and I'm going to be taking you through another part of cost of capital. And uh, before I begin off, I'm going to require you to subscribe and also follow what I'm pointing at because I'm already having uh, well explained laid down information. So for today, I'm going to be beginning with the cost of preferring shares. So this is the rate of return preferring shareholders expect to earn from a firm. The preferring shares are usually predetermined and can also be uh, redeemed or irredeemable. So dividends that are known to uh, that are paid to the preferring shareholders are already taxed and do not have a tax shield. So when we are having no flotation costs uh, under irredeemable or perpetual preferring share capital. We are going to use this formula, which is going to be KP is equal to uh, uh, div divided by P naught and then times the 100 because our answer is going to be in percentage. Whereby KP is going to be the cost of preference shares, then div is going to be the equal to dividends, then P naught is going to be the market value. Then with the uh, irredeemable preference share capital, uh, it's going to be uh, having this formula of uh, uh, KP is equal to div plus 1 divided by n brackets f naught minus p naught brackets then divide by a half brackets f naught plus p naught brackets then uh, times 100 for answer to be in a percentage whereby f naught is going to be our first value and n is going to be the number of years to maturity so with uh, flotation costs the irredeemable preferred share capital uh, is going to be uh, uh, it's going to be given using this formula whereby KP is going to is going to be equal to div divided by P naught minus the F uh, and our, our answer is going to be multiplied by 100 uh, because it's going to be in percentage so where our KP is going to be the cost of preference, uh, preference shares div is going to be uh, dividends then uh, P naught is going to be our market value F is going to be the flotation costs and then uh, here we are having the redeemable preference share capital whereby we are going to use this formula of kp is equal to div plus one divided by n uh, square brackets f naught minus uh, brackets p naught minus f uh, brackets then you are close with the square brackets divide by a half square brackets f naught plus brackets p naught minus f brackets then i close off with the square bracket times 100 because my answer is going to be in 100 whereby f naught is going to be the first value and f is going to be the flotation costs so that is to do with that and then uh, the redeemable debt and uh, redeemable preference shares can be issued uh, a at par where the first value is going to equal to the market value uh, whereby f naught is going to equal to p naught and uh, b at discount where there is reduction in the market price and at uh, premium where there where, where there is a uh, increase in the market price uh, next uh, the cost of uh, equity shares or ordinary shares or common stock cost of equity is the rate of return a uh, firm pays to its equity investors or shareholders. Uh, when we are having no flotation costs, uh, we are going to use this formula whereby K is, equal, is going to equal to div divided by P naught plus G times 100 for answer to be in, a, in percentage, whereby K is going to equal to cost of equity, uh, P naught is going to equal to market value, uh, G is going to equal to uh, growth rate. Then where we are having uh, with uh, flotation costs, KE is going to equal to div uh, divided by P naught minus F plus G times 100 for our answer to be in percentage, whereby our F is going to be the flotation costs. So next is the cost of retained earnings. This is the rate of return shareholders expect from uh, retained funds by a firm. So retained earnings is equal to equity shares with the with no flotation costs. So we are uh, to use this formula whereby K R E is equal to div divided by P naught plus G times a hundred for answer to be in percentage. So K R is going to equal to cost of retained earnings. Div is a uh, dividends. Uh, P naught is market value and G is growth rate. 
Thank you so much. Uh, make sure you subscribe uh, in order to get notification.